So, so I guess I'll lead off on the pornography definition. Um, the, the definition that was suggested, let me try to get the microphone in front of me so you can hear me. The definition that, su that was suggested um, on this is concerning to me because if you look at the Florida statute, it's, uh, the definition that was suggested by the member of the public is concerning to me. If you look at the Florida statute, it says that we are to prohibit pornography or materials prohibited by 847.012. Um, Allison, that, that PowerPoint that's on the thumb drive, I, I've done a small PowerPoint just to go through some of this. This will help clear up some of the questions that I think you all have. So it'd be easier just for me to do it this way. And, and Allison, I'll tell you to go to the next slide when I'm ready. Okay. So you can go to slide number two. Oh, you're getting in the, there you go. So the statute says any material used in the classroom made available in the school library or included in a reading list that contains content that is pornographic or prohibited under 847. That or word is bolded and underlined for a very important reason. It's a disjunctive phrase in, in both grammar and in the law. So it means either or. So if it contains pornography or it contains materials prohibited under 847.012, you have to prohibit it. And that becomes important. Go ahead and go to the next slide, please. Apparently I forgot to stop the clock, I apologize. Because the statute says if it finds that there is prohibited, if the school board finds that there is prohibited content under sub subparagraph B, which I just read, the school district shall continue the use of the material for any grade level or any use for which such use is inappropriate or unsuitable. So if you can go to the next slide. If it contains pornography or materials prohibited by 847.012. So while we didn't have a specific definition of pornography, again, we borrowed the one from child pornography. And go to the next slide, Allison. We have the definition of sexual conduct here. Uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and read it again because I've done it once and that was surely enough for a public meeting. So we will go to the next slide, but it is there for your perusal. So now going to 847.012, this is your point, uh, Vice Chair Byrd. This statute says it has to be harmful to minors, right? And it, that is the standard for 847.012. But that is not the standard for pornography under the case law that we have. So next slide. And this 847.012 says an adult may not knowingly distribute to a minor on school property any material described in subsection three. Again, subsection three is the, the material that is harmful to minors. Next slide. Harmful to minors has a definition. It, and by the way, just so we're all, we've heard harmful to minors and obscenity, those are the identical standards. They are one and the same, and Florida case law does say that. So harmful to minors, it's something that predominantly appeals to prurient, shameful, or morbid interest, is patently offensive with the prevailing standards in the adult community as a whole with respect to what is suitable material or conduct for minors. And then C is the important portion. Taken as a whole is without serious literary, artistic, political, or scientific value for minors. So the definition that was suggested to you is it has to have some serious literary or artistic value. That is the obscenity slash harmful to minor standards. The bottom line is, and I've read the case law on this, you can have pornography that is not considered obscene and not considered harmful to minors under the statutory definitions. If you adopt the definition that was suggested to you, you would be port importing an obscenity standard into pornography, and the legislature intended it to be two separate things, pornography or materials prohibited under 847.012, which is harmful to minors or obscenity. So my fear is, is if you adopt that definition, you would be allowing materials that are pornographic in nature that would otherwise be prohibited by law because you're utilizing the more stringent obscenity and harmful to minor standard. So if you go one more slide. That's well, the definition. More lenient. I meant to say more lenient. I apologize. And that's the obscenity definition, which you see is exactly the same as the harmful to minor definition. <clears throat> Allison, next slide. Again, if, it's por if it contains either pornography or obscene materials or materials which are harmful to minors, the usage must be discontinued. And again, pornography must be removed even if they don't meet the legal definition of obscenity and harmful to minors. So that's my fear in adding that definition. I understand completely why. They, they wanted to add the definition, but I think it expands pornography beyond what the legislature has intended. So let's stay here for a minute. Um, we have a, qu a follow-up question.